What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Y'all have been missed. We back, guys, and I'm so sorry for the delay. We are kind of running late. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get everything started. We got some special guests in the building. <laughs> Not that big old smile. <laughs> right. Short but special. Short but special. <laughs> Who are you, young man? The oldest. Fire guy. Fire guy. Fire guy. <laughs> and who do we have next to you? Gang, gang, big sus. <laughs> big sus is in the building. And who's this guy? I'm going to keep it short. You're going to keep it short? Yeah. Ken. <laughs> Dog is a real life door. He is. He really is. Ken decided to come outside with us today. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with the with the old school L seven square. <laughs> Y'all got it going today already. Well, guys, we outside. I'm sorry again for us being late. Um, my page has been down for a little while, and I apologize for that too. I haven't been connected with y'all, so um, I did upload my page. The group is now private, so um, oh yeah, we're gonna have to make sure that we get all the guests in and um, everybody that's able to view. You can share it um, to inboxes or whatever you need to do. Um, what y'all have going on this week? Oh, me? Yeah, what you have going on this week? Work, kids. Work and kids. Nothing fun? No, nah, ain't, no, ain't no fun going on. <laughs> no no fun. fun? Why? You know, Halloween, kids' birthdays. It's time to catch back up. What's that mean? Catch back up. Christmas right around the corner. New Year's, then my birthday. Mm, somebody about to enter the dirty 30s. Man. Your knees going to start hurting. Man, this week ain't no joke, bro. You know, knees and everything. Man, the Magnus Stallion started to kick in, and you have no hope of that. <laughs> T, T, what's going on with you? Uh, little bit nothing. Work really? stressing me the hell out and make you realize, really realize you need to be your own business for real. For sure. Um... I have finally realized that uh, my stuff is about to start up in high gear. What stuff show, is that? Show. My t-shirt business is about to start in high gear. My own clothing line about to start up in high gear. What 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 type of clothes you talking about? I am in? doing all jogging suit wear, so mainly street wear. Um, for you, so everybody who love a J's, cause I am a sneaker head for sure. I'm all about that, and then some. Um, the Alkies, I'm doing all Christmas eggnog. I'm starting early this year, so I will not be waiting until November. So if you're trying to get that in, hit me up now, <laughs> right now. Um, and if you want your glassware to be drinking your eggnog out of, hit me up for that too. So all right now. So you so you trying to get people drunk off the eggnog, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. And then be firing your streetwear while you drinking your eggnog. Okay. <laughs> that sounds about right to me. <laughs> you gotta have a fire button. What's been going on with you? How's school? How's how's everything? I gotta get in the lab for basketball because you know that's coming. Oh, so we oh, so are doing your mind. so we are doing basketball. Oh, so what happened? Buddy. Yeah, in twenty four <laughs> hours you changed your mind. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, we are gonna be there to support you like always. I am the <laughs> best coach aunt from the hey, bench. You know one that told me how to play basketball. Facts. Back, back there, little shirt thing that you do make fire shirts hit it. Facts. Let's go ahead and su support the small businesses. We need it. How about you, mom? How about you, mom? You can... Nothing's big. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I can't stand him. Nothing's been going on with me. Just work. Um, I mean, you know. 
trying to stay sucker free, you know? <laughs> stay That's the hard. It is. It, it is very hard when the hate is real in the city right now. It definitely wow. is. And um, I just I'm not going to go into detail, but I just want to say, you know, as a woman of integrity, uh, I refuse to jeopardize my business, my career, um, my children for bullshit. So a lot of stuff that's been going on, I'm not going to address it. I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to comment because at this point, you can believe whatever you read. Um, if you know me, you know me. And that's just it. So from there, it is what the fuck it is. Do, do, take on my initiative that I said. What? Whatever the people say I said, I said it. I shit. said it. I said it. I whatever, said the fuck, it. whatever the fuck the people said I did, I did that yep. shit. So and I you should add on to it. Let's just add on I, to I the gotta, bullshit. I, I got another one for it. I ain't got no time to clear no shit up. Yep. So 2022 coming, wherever the fuck I left your ass at in 2021, that's where the fuck your ass stand at. That's it. That's what Moneybag said. I ain't clearing up nothing you heard. Nothing. I ain't got so, time for it. If you ain't helping me put no more money in this motherfucking bag, that broke down, crippled ass, no will having ass bag, it's staying where the fuck it broke down the hell at. Yep, that's what it is. So, how y'all feel about? Did y'all hear that uh song Young Miami put out? No, oh, I didn't want to listen to it because I think <laughs> I think she's a whore. So I just she's really wrong. didn't feel the need to listen to it. Did you listen to it? I don't listen to really no chicks. What? I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna say. Is, that it, is it the new day age chicks? Because the chicks back in the day was like Lil Kim, you know, Mariah Carey, Faith Evans, shit like that. Yeah, but the new day age is. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. What's what's her name from Milwaukee? Uh, Lakia. Uh, Lakia. Yeah, Lakia. Like, I play her because I. I, I mean, like, I support, support her. Yeah, I support her. Like the city girls, they straight. You know what I'm saying? My my babies, they. They entertained by that. But, you know, at the end of the day, is it appropriate? Did you say the city girls are straight? They what, straight. What do, you mean, what do you mean by straight? They straight. Well, like, yeah, no, can, can you elaborate? I, yeah, like, what do you mean? They not no Beyonce. But that's, those movie. are two different that genres. Like, right. those are okay, so, okay, so, who can I? I can't even really factor them in as a group. They not no. Like you gotta think about it. I'm a '90s baby, so I grew up in the '90s era. So at the end of the day, you got TLC, Destiny's Child. Well, they were like they Missy were, Elliott. They, they were falling the line. Unfortunately, sorry to say this, a lot of people gonna be like, "That ain't true." They actually fall in the line because they are a rap group. They were falling line kind of with TLC. Although the oh, hold on, hold on, let me tell you why. Because Left Eye was the only rapper in the group. They 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 baselined on both sides of. R and B, hip hop, and rap. That's why I say that. So, Although they don't, they don't. They do, but they don't because Left Eye was a rapper. Is why that is why I say that. They really are one of the only female R and B groups outside of Salt and Pepper. They don't even they don't even do R and B. They do rap, pop that coochie. You're right. I mean, yeah. They. I mean, as far as like their concern, as far as the city girls, I don't even think they align with anything that TLC had going on because no, they were they, more so they, they positive more than anything though. They don't, but that's what I'm saying as far as rap wise. The only other our, the only other rap group was female rap group was Salt, Salt and, and Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> and they were long, 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 long yeah. before they were even thought of. Yeah. Uh, before Ooh. they were even a twinkle yeah. and they daddy oh, eye, you, you talking about as city girls. sperm count wise yeah. didn't even be thought of. I yeah. Mean, what Okay, so what was the song by? It's canceled. It's canceled. I mean, bro, bro, song was about. It was trash, trash. Literally talking about, bro. She didn't care if there was a relationship or nothing. Yeah, she brought she up money bag. She uh, she brought up little bag. yeah. She brought up a uh, little dark money bag. She brought up little baby. Um, Diddy. Look, Diddy yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Diddy, I heard, Ari, Diddy. I heard Ari Fletcher clap back immediately. She said she already heard the song, so she wasn't. Yeah, you know, people were trying to start Megan stuff, but. But I, for me, like just, it, I That's thought it was disrespectful. And maybe y'all just got to hear the song to yeah, understand what I'm saying because that's just like you. If I'm saying 
Tanisha, you in a relationship and I put your dude like, oh, you should pull up and leave your girl at home. Like, that's disrespectful. 95% of female rap artists are doing that anyway. So I don't I don't listen to half of them no way in the first place because 95% of what they're rapping about is popping a pussy in my nigga face in the first place. Right. She said something like, uh, let's go with her. I have sex in India, you know, this girl named India. Or yeah. Like I'm like, bro. So, can you imagine like listening to that song after oh, you haven't heard man. it? And then it's like, wait a minute, I thought we was cool. So, it's like, even for a guy, I know. Cool, you slated, you trying to smash my dude. I, now I got to break your face off of being disrespectful. Right. So, I just thought that that was just really awkward. I mean, but I'm, I'm going to say this a real woman. Like you say, most women they gonna buy, they gonna look past it because they know they nigga. So even if, even if you put a song like you gotta think about it, look at Dirk, look at his woman, look at Bag, look at his girl, mm -hmm. look at a lot of rappers like you know what I'm saying that's really with they woman. You know what I'm saying? They woman ain't gotta worry about nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? That's like um uh. Like you said, like she trying to shoot her shot at Dirk or she trying to shoot her shot at Bag or Jay-Z or however Rick Ross or however you want to put it. Like at the end of the day, them chicks know they niggas. So that at the end of the but day. But what she said was she was trying to big up everybody that's hot in the industry. But my thing was, if you're trying to big up these people in the industry, why did you use some of the words that you use, such as like sexual things, especially towards um, Lil Dirk? But that's why her career ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, look what they, look what you just did. Yeah, right. you 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 literally tried to monetize your pussy in a way where you trying to basically say like, "Hey, I'll go ahead and but smash for a bag." Within twenty four hours, her song was like top eight. Oh, it, yeah, it does, because, it, because everybody listening sales. to it, yeah, and everybody streaming it too. So, but sex you gotta sales. think about it. How long is that gonna last? That's gonna only gonna last. It's about only two yeah, minutes, you two ain't you're not, tops. It's not gonna be longevity. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? It's not like your your song gonna be on top charts forever. Like, gee, first off, listen, the top five females that I know right now that's hot, Who? that's hot. Name them. City Girls, Lakia, Megan, uh, what's the chick that's saying? Um, twinning. Uh, uh Coley, Coley Lee yeah, or whatever. Her, uh, yeah, and then it's... Um, <laughs> It's another chick. Um, I feel old. You said you said Meg. The top five is Meg, Coley Ray. Not Nikki. No, 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 no. Nikki. She's no. not that she hot. Needs to she no, needs to stay where she at. No. She's not hot, folks. No, yeah, no. Lotto. See, is, see, see, listen. Lotto is definitely one of the top. Yeah, five. Mulatto. But listen, I'm gonna tell you why Nikki not hot right now because of her nigga that she got. That's. I, I was gonna say she needs to stay where yeah, she at. Yeah, well, his, because uh, the trash ass shit that she just did behind her brother, and then she doing that shit behind her, right. her husband. Yeah. She needs to stay where the fuck she at. Um, okay, so her her brother literally went to jail for sexual assault. He's a registered sex offender. She tried to pay the chick off. Her husband is a two-time sexual, sexual offender. offender. Yeah, yeah. And then and she I went and tried to pay the chick off. Nikki definitely is washed. Yeah. She tried to pay the chick off by, you know, telling... Bribing her Yeah, bribing her by not coming to, to court. Not coming to court. Then when the chick said, I'm going to court, she said, well, I'll double the money that we're trying to offer you if you change your story. Right. But we don't know if that's all facts because that's just that hearsay. All the text messages, she recorded all the fucking phone calls. That shit is facts. But here's the thing, though. I think a lot of the times women be dumb as fuck for niggas. So for her to go ahead and go try to pay off somebody yes. that was sexually assaulted, as a woman, she out of order be for that. You ashamed of yourself. She out of order for that. Because... Before anything, you are a woman. And then if she had a daughter, how would you want your daughter to be treated? Would you want somebody to pay off your daughter to not speak, to not go to court? So that she out of order for it. Before anything, before that man, anything, she out of order. So I think Nicki Minaj need to just, she got to kick it to the yeah, curb. She, she need yeah. to, she, yeah, she, she, it's one of them things. And it's not even to be sympathetic towards nobody. It's more so being empathetic. It's literally taking yourself and having the ability to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Mm -hmm. What if you were in that situation? Right. How would you feel? Or what if that was your child? Not, not even. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even wish that on no, nobody's child. No, I'm not saying I wish it on anybody's child. No, no, I'm no. Saying. I'm, I'm saying I don't even want her. I don't even want it to go to that. I literally wanted to literally be put yourself in that woman's shoes because it's literally like right here, right now. 
think about it if it was you. If you were literally sitting on the other end That's of that phone call, right, having to have that conversation, how is it that you let that shit go out your mouth and you didn't even hear what you were saying to yourself? Yep. You didn't even listen to it. But I, I think that, again, she was just trying to protect her man because has Nikki actually been in a so-called happy relationship? Oh, since- yeah. Who? No, I'm I'm, I'm agreeing. With oh, you okay. I'm like, so I'm, she's I'm trying to protect him and keep him near her, but at the same time, you like you fucking up the code. Like you, I, she out of order. Yeah. yeah, I think it's more so she just didn't want to be by herself with that fucking kid. That bitch got all the money in the world. It don't even it matter about her being do. like. It ain't got nothing to do I'm with sure that. she probably got a thousand nannies. It, and all it, it ain't got shit. nothing to do. With, it ain't got nothing to do with being on. It, it ain't got nothing to do with having no nanny. It got Listen, something to do with not having a hard dick laying next to your ass in a fucking bed. It, it's, Drake it's, it's, said, it's, it's, Carla. Yeah, yeah. He always said Carla. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, the shit fucked up because here it is. You got a nigga you invested in mm-hmm. and come to find out this nigga got multiple sex cases. She well, knew that shit going in. It, it, but, you know, you got to think about it. Listen, me growing up, I ain't going to lie to you. I grew up. I grew up in the joint. I've been around. I've been around the block a few times. So I know I see it. You got ball players that's, you know, 15, 16 years old going to prison because he didn't got caught laid in the bed with a motherfucking daughter who who busted open for him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The parents looking at him like, oh man, you raped my daughter, but that wasn't the case. Your it daughter was, was being your uh-huh. daughter was being fast and now she want to play victim. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Now his his career is ruined, or you know what I'm saying? Now he's a convicted sex offender. You know what I'm saying? It's plenty black men in the in, in the United States. I got Trust a me. one for you. Because I just had this conversation. DJ, I had this conversation with DJ. I had this conversation with one of my co-workers. And in certain states, it don't even be like that. It literally could be that the chick busted open. You're 18. She's 17. And because you had sex with her, it's considered statutory rape. Regardless okay. of, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Hold on. Let me finish. Regardless on if it was consensual or not, the parent can press charges. Yeah. Ain't got nothing to do with if she switched up her story or none of that. She literally can sit in court and say, I wanted to do it. But because the parent has some disdain towards you being a young black man and her being a young white girl or even a black girl and the parent didn't like you. They still can press charges. Mm-hmm. So it's one of them things where you literally just got to keep that motherfucker in your goddamn pants. And But you know what's crazy? Just being at um, DJ Games, like the last, since the football season started, just seeing like some of these little girls, I would never guess that these kids like was in his school. Oh, yeah. Because they, they, them damn girls look older than me. Yeah, I was like, and, but they then. That little girl yesterday had on a goddamn pleated mini skirt. Yeah, with no damn stockings, no leggings on, and a halter top, and it was goddamn thirty nine degrees outside last night. But see, but see, this is this is the thing that people fail to realize. When me, you, you grew up, we had real life mothers. Yeah, yeah. most of most of most yeah. everybody got to think about it. Most of our parents was raised from the south, mm-hmm. so they was they was brought up with respect, and our mothers. Well, my mama, y'all mama, you know what I'm saying? I can say, Crazy. I can speak. I can Insane. say, I, I can say this for a fact. Like, my mama didn't play that shit. I got mm-hmm. sisters. So, at the end of the day, like, anybody that know my sisters. Life, catch your ass. Yeah, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, nowadays, motherfuckers, you couldn't, you couldn't sit in front in the living room while your parents was kicking it, yep. listening. Children them. should be seen you, and not heard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, motherfuckers be letting their daughters listen to Megan Thee Stallion and the City Girls and pop that coochie. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I got five daughters. I don't play that shit, and they know that. I'm a smoker right nigga behind mine. I ain't going to lie to you. That's just what it is. You going to treat my daughter with respect? Just like I'm, I'm going to do mine. It's just what it is. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Well, well, now that we're talking about dating, 
It, was that your segue? Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> <laughs> DJ. I mean, I mean, I mean so uh, we were talking about dating. So, what do you think enters you or catches your attention about somebody that you're dating or somebody that you're looking for? DJ, is that from a man or a way? Okay, if it's a what percent? Yeah, no, I mean, we gonna start with DJ. Okay, oh, okay, if I mean, you projecting that question. It's, a, it's too, just an so. open, open-ended question. Whoever like feels like they got a response. Okay, because he said he got his person, so that's why I picked him for like what? Oh, okay, that's <laughs> like who you asked? Yeah, yeah, DJ. I was like DJ. Let's go, DJ, because DJ Young. So I wanna, I want right. this did new you, and day and age. Wait, first of all, did you just say PYT? Oh, okay. I, oh, I was, I was like, like, wait, was like, what? Wait, what? Yeah, Hit him uh, with the Michael J. Like, <laughs> when, I, when, I, uh, when I first saw her, the first thing that caught me was that she didn't talk to nobody at all. Can you sit, move your hand from your mouth? It was it was the fact that she didn't talk to nobody at all. What you mean she didn't talk to nobody at all? Like she's just like, sitting there like oh, weird. Yeah, anti-social, not weird. Like, <laughs> anti-social wise. Because I don't like people that's well, I don't like girls that uh, require friends, attention. Uh, yeah, like that, that's not cute to me at all. That's most of the females on my school. I mean, hang with them. They love that attention, but she didn't. That's the first thing that called me. It wasn't even about how she looked, even though she is beautiful. Facts, 10 out of 10. But besides <laughs> that, yeah, it was just the fact that she was by herself and become my star. Okay. No, nobody face for none of that. So, what keeps your attention with her? I feel like she makes me comfortable. I could be myself around her. I mean, like all these. Other females were, oh, you got money? Oh, yeah, come on. It ain't that. It's just she love me how I am. She support me and everything. You got money? Give me some money. <laughs> I'm like, where's the cheese I'm, I'm, at? I said, where the oh, cheese? No, no, no. I need $200. I'm going to ask you a question. How you know she love you? It's not the fact that I know she do. I honestly trust her. You got to uh, be able to trust your female. If she says she love you, you should be able to feel that she telling you the truth. So, how do you know what love is? I do. I know what love is. Because you how old? Every time I talk to her, I get butterflies. Facts. <laughs> Fire! I wouldn't say it's the same as your mom, because that mom gave a way different Yeah, you can't. You could tell when somebody really likes you, and I could tell that she really liked me how I like her. Facts. We're going to move on to Tanisha. I want to hear what she got to say. Mm-mm. Tanisha. I'm a little bit more complex. You are very been, complex. Like I'm I'm a complex person. I'm I'm that onion. Oh. <laughs> I'm that onion when it comes to relationships. Um, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> um being that I'm one of them people that I'm I'm real standoffish and I'm guarded about my feelings. So if I'm hurt, I'm never going to tell you that I'm hurt. I'm going to tell you you fucked up. And I'm going to be real defensive about a lot of stuff. Well, that's pretty much telling somebody you hurt when you tell them they fucked up. Because nah, you, most of the never, time they know what they gonna, did. Not all the time. because Most of the time. Nah. Because they could have done, they could have, they could have hurt you in a in a multitude of ways, but they're never gonna know what, what pinpointed that hurt initially. So you about to do that under the table. Yeah, you just pour that shit up. Right, nigga. Like, we, we, we all motherfuckers. Don't you be scared. Right. Um. So it's being in love and falling in love is two different things, and keeping somebody. Like and, and keeping somebody's attention and, and all of that is is totally different. I think being fresh and in, in a new relationship, just having that ability to have an open conversation, that open dialect is very important. Putting shit out there on the table and letting folks know and setting boundaries of what you like, what you don't like, what you expect, what you don't expect what your love language is, all of those things are very important. Because if you don't know, then you playing that guessing game and then you six months in, you like, I really don't like this motherfucker. That's true. And then you stuck. Like, do no, I stay or I do stuck. I, Hold on. You stuck with do I stay or do I go? You stuck with do I cheat or do I stay? 
And then you got other feelings involved because some people start out fucking versus trying to find out if this is a real lane that I want to be in. Mm -hmm. Because once you create them soul ties, that's where shit starts to transpire. And most people don't have sex with condoms in our day and age of folks no more. And soul ties Mm -hmm. are real deep because once you have that soul tie, you take on those mannerisms and those energies of another person. Why are you guarding your face, (laughs) Shante? I ain't said nothing. I was just fixing my brain. Like, I'm a real emotional person. Anybody who know me know I'm a very emotional person. You do too much, homegirl. I I can't even say real emotional. I can say violent. Yeah, yeah, she definitely is violent. Oh, I'm a a very all the smoke. I'm a very threatening person. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to beat your ass. Big facts. Look, we was at the game, y'all. Oh, man. And the girl that hopped up. And told the kids she was about to beat their ass. All because some shit that didn't even have nothing to do with her. Hey, look. I respect it though because I do no, 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 you ain't let me finish though. But I'm like, all right, Tanisha, it's it's awesome times in your delivery when you talking to these kids because it's not like when we was growing up where the neighbor could be like, Hey, you know you out of order, your mama wouldn't, you know, whatever. You can't. She just went in like she was talking to DJ Desmond, like, hey, sit y'all ass down and stop doing that. And it was kind of like, and he looked at her like, bitch. So then when he noticed she wasn't no kid, he hopped on that. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it escalated really quickly. It could have got out of hand. But, but you no, the first of the, no, his first response was like, I was a kid. And then I had to let him know, I'm not your age. I'm old enough to be your mama for real in real life. I will take this belt off. And I'm going to whoop your ass like your mama should have. Because your mama should have beat your ass and maybe you would have had some respect for your elders. But see, people feel to realize where we at. We in Milwaukee. So at the end of the day, listen, I feel where she coming from. This is 2021. These kids this is telling your mama, telling their own mama, shut the fuck up and sit down. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. I wish I'm... I'm I'm raised old school. I follow behind my grandma, follow behind my mama and them. You know, like I said before, my mama and them from the South. So with that being said, I don't play that shit. My daughters, I got five of them. They know how I move. I look at you. You gonna sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Say it one more time for the people in the back. You gonna sit the fuck down and you gonna shut the fuck up. Hey, Olivia not now, gangster. but right now. I don't, know. I don't she, give a fuck. But when she, she see them daddy eyes, when she know, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I hate to say it, a lot of people be like, oh, woo. listen, that's what's wrong with motherfuckers nowadays. Y'all yep. keep saying, oh, that's not right. Fuck that. That's why kids out here stealing cars. They slapping yep. their mamas. They not listening. They running away. They doing all this type of shit. I raised my kids like the way I was raised. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Oh, no. Me and Ken saw this at the park, and I thought this was so crazy. Right before the game, bro, you was at the park. You talking about the boy with his shirt off? No. His, the, the um, mind you, she was like not being racist. She told her son, "Go put that on the table." He had it in his hand. She like, "Go put it on the table." Mm-hmm. He said, "No," and gave it to her. She said, "Okay," and kept walking. I said, <laughs> "Hey, you know die. that was never going down in my house, right?" Okay, as long that as you knew crazy. that one, that's not happening had you over here. Handed it to her or to me. What was gonna happen? Oh. He probably would have got hit with whatever it, it whatever was. It was. And you still would have took it over there. But it, this is a this is what people feel to realize. This is a new day. This is a new age. You got to think about it. The 80s was different from the 90s. The 90s is different from the 2000s. The 2000s is different from now. So, you know, it's getting worse and it's getting worse and it's getting worse. Like, people feel to realize, like, people don't share values like how we was growing mm-hmm. up. Like, you got to think about it, the 80s, the 90s. Some people, the 90s was the last of a dying breed. Exactly. Like, a lot of Ebony said it's realize, kids raising kids. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. When, when, when you honestly think about it, look how many mothers out here that really don't take care of their kids but feel like they mm. do. You're right. depending on welfare. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. And I'm going to keep this shit all the way 100. You can go work a nine to five at Cousin Subs and still take care of a whole household. It's motherfuckers out here strung out on crack where their kids is is barely making it to school every day. Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers complain. 
but you living off the government. A motherfucker can sit there on a couch every day, collect two, three checks a month. A month. But you got a daddy that's going to work every fucking day that's trying his hardest to pay his bills mm -hmm. and, and take care of his kids at the same time to make it by. But at the end of the day, he a deadbeat daddy. It's a double standard because I feel like it is it's deadbeat moms out here too, but they don't get as much. They don't get that smoke. Yeah, they don't, don't get as yeah, it they don't, don't get, get as much smoke. smoke as the dad. And it, it's hard when um you see both sides. And so when you see both sides, you kind of understand a little more. But just being like a mom, I see it from my side. And then just being able to be in the situation from, you know, your standpoint, I see it too. So I just feel like people have to understand it's not just, it's not a women and a man thing. It's it's the people in it's general, people it's parent in general. Yep. And I can agree with that because, you know, be, me being in a situation like that too, like, you know, to sit back and watch my guy literally go through this same bullshit. It's so freaking frustrating mm -hmm. to watch somebody literally. And I got to give all the kudos. And I tell him every time I talk to him, I give you all the kudos. You don't, it, uh, uh, a motherfucker don't have to. He literally can say, just take that child support out my check. I don't, I don't got to fuck with you. I don't got to pick these kids up. I don't got to do none of this. I don't got to get all my kids on the same day. They don't have to know each other. Right. Mm -hmm. They can catch each other in the street and be like, oh, my daddy's such and such. Mm -hmm. Y'all all got the same name. Y'all all look just alike. Mm -hmm. Y'all all act the same, all that. They don't have to. But because you're a father, you do your fatherly things. But it's so easy to yourself. say, oh, you a deadbeat. That's the easiest. But, because fucking... that's, a, that's a cop out. Yeah, Because it is. you're the deadbeat. Because when you... And this is what I this is what I found out after dating my ex. When go, when the mother when I ain't the mother, this subject. No, I oh I, I'll stay I'll I'll stand ten toes down behind this one because when I when I witness fathers be fathers me being a motherless mom because I actually had to give birth to a stillborn so I can say this shit. Ten, I can stand 10 toes down when I watch a father be a father and a mom be a poop put ass bitch. They can stand down on their toes and say, you a deadbeat because they the fucking deadbeat. Yeah. They the ones that literally will send their kid out the house, not give a fuck how their kid get home from school. They can stand there, send their kid to school. Their kid ain't took no fucking bath. Their kid ain't got no fucking hair done. Kid ain't fucking eight. Kid homework ain't goddamn done. And then got the audacity to sit there and blow a motherfucker phone up and say, who you, you fucking, who you with? You Why that bitch, bitch can't do it? Hmm. You you too busy worried about the wrong shit. The wrong motherfucking thing. <laughs> the wrong thing. And then, and then let me... Let, and I'm, whoever got a problem with it, come to my DM about it. I'm, I'm going to say this. A lot of people, a lot of women... You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say this, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep this shit all the way 100. You got a lot of niggas out here that want to be dads, that want to be fathers to their children. Me, I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna keep that shit 100. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. I don't give a fuck what people say. I got seven kids, five daughters, two boys. I love them motherfuckers to death. And anybody anybody that knows me, I'm gonna show up and show out. Regardless of the fact which child it is, mm -hmm. as you're supposed to, you are absolutely right. Uh, my um live on my business page isn't working, so I'm live on my page, so I can't put it on the screen. But um, he said a lot of a lot of them are bitter because they don't want them because they don't you know they mm -hmm. basically don't want them. So it's like it sucks because it go it gets pushed on the kids because the the common goal should be the kids. Yeah, like I should true. be able to be able to come to you and say and have a decent conversation with you about my our kid, whether it be it, it don't even need to be hostile. It's like, hey, can you do this? You know what I'm saying? I need you this day, this day, and whatever you need to do to move your schedule, or you know, such and such need this. But a lot of people don't know how to have that conversation without getting upset because you're too worried about what I'm doing in my personal life that 
you trying to make it seem like it's about the kids, but it's not. But you'd be surprised. So here, here's the other thing that I that that I found out in dating, especially dating men with children. Men take the most time to bring a woman around his children. Is is and, uh, and hold, hold on, let me finish this. And the reason why is because he holds a woman to a higher standard. Around his kids, hold on. Hold, this is I, my experience. That, yeah, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm like, I can't. I'm, this, yeah, you. I'm gonna let this go. Yeah. This is my experience, and it could be because I'm older than y'all. This is my experience. He takes a longer time bringing a woman around his kids because most times the dudes that I have dated are looking for a wife to make sure that the woman that he brings around his children is going to be someone, especially if if he has daughters, is somebody who is going to represent a woman the way that he needs his daughters to be raised like. Mm -hmm. The one that he wants to, her to imitate because the representation that she got at home ain't the right one. Yeah. That's why I'm saying that. So if that's she is that representation much. early enough, then that system changes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I, oh. I, I the way wait, wait, I can I can respect so this. That sometimes it's different, but you know, it, it's I think different for strokes me, for different folks. For me, it took a long time for me to bring anybody around DJ and Desmond. Like they your dad been gone almost 13 years, and maybe Two years ago, it might be three, maybe two years ago is when I actually start bringing people around them because I, this is my thing. I feel like everybody not supposed to meet your kids. Facts. And I also think in a sense with my children being older, um, I want to know what they think about the person that I'm dating because they could peep shit that I'm not peeping or they could see stuff that I, you know, they could be like, mm, I don't know. So that's why lately, you know, I've started to bring people around my kids. But at first, it took a long time. When they was little, it, it wasn't happening. Well, so I got I, I got mixed feelings about that. I got mixed feelings about a lot of shit. And and people could take how they how they want to. Me personally, I roll with the flow. <laughs> like I said, I got seven kids, seven different baby mamas. Hey, everybody, everybody be like, oh, she's you got baby mama drama. You fucking this, you fucking that. It's, I started when I was young. I had my first child when I was 17 years old. And I ain't ashamed to say shit. My oldest know it. Her family know it. My, my family know it. My baby mamas know it. Listen, my oldest mama ain't around. My oldest baby mama ain't around. My my, my oldest son lost his mama a couple, uh, a couple years ago. Am I ashamed of it? No, it's just at that point, it's you got to step up to the plate and be a real dad. Mm -hmm. I might not got everything. I might not got all the motherfucking solutions to everything. I might ain't got all the money in the fucking world. I may can't do this and I may can't do that, but I'm gonna try my hardest to get my kids to to world and back, my nigga. And it's some. It's not even always about the material things. It it's about the time it's you not. spent. But that's what most baby mamas go off of. See, and that's the problem. That's too, the problem. Hey, oh, that's hey. the problem too. On, that, me, that is. That so, is. Yeah. And let, and let me and let me tell you why. Because it, it starts off on how you. This gonna sound so fucked up coming out of my mouth because I, I play things in my head before I say it. It starts off how you recruited them. Hmm. Because if if you recruited the bitch by money, that's what she expects yep. the entire relationship. That's true. Even well, when the kids come into play. So if you recruited that chick, and I say chick because I'm calling her a woman at the end of the day. If you recruited her off a of time, emotion, conversation, that's what she expects when a child comes into play. Because a real woman knows that money don't do nothing at the end of the day. You got because your own shit. You got, because like, at the end of the day, that chick has everything that she could yep. possibly need and want on her own and she can gain that on her own but when that baby comes into play she knows that at the end of the day that kid ain't gonna remember nothing mm -hmm. because you talking to you you got two chicks right here who had mama and daddy in the house for 12 years before my father passed I don't remember a fucking thing that my dad bought me <laughs> I don't but either. I remember every damn time yep. that my daddy showed up I remember play every with time us. that he came outside to play with me. Yep. I remember every damn time the that nigga. Time, I'm talking about that. he slaughtered trying to comb my hair. 
I remember every time that that man woke me up to take my ass outside before the fucking crack of dawn because I wanted to run track because yep. he was outside having me practice before I went to school. I, don't. I remember all of that shit. She ran track. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was before the 30s. Hit. I told you, the 30s coming. I'm telling you, them mega knees went out the window. Hey, but, but okay, so let me ask y'all a question: What do y'all do about the fathers like myself? The niggas that actually, I don't got it all. Like nigga, I jumped out the streets years ago. Like I could still be in the streets. I could still be hustling. I could still be doing my thing. A lot you get of the biggest kudos in the world. No, but a lot of people that a lot of people that know me. From back in the day, they know the type of nigga I am. They know what type of caliber nigga I am. So when you think of me, like a lot of people, they they be like, oh, that's Ken, that's woo-woo. But a lot of people that know me from the streets, they know my nickname. And they know that ain't shit that you play about. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right. what I told my ex before he got killed. I said, if you, if, if you want to continue to be called by your street name, you're going to carry yourself like that nigga. Yep. If you want to be called Ken and that's what you want them to remember you by, you're going to Operate give them such. Ken. Yeah. I literally told this man this before he got killed. I said, if you want to continue to be called Montaigne, you're going to carry yourself as Montaigne. Mm -hmm. If you want to be called Gerald, this is literally, am I lying? Right before this man literally got out the streets. I got this man completely off the streets in, in less than a year because of how I carried myself. You can't represent me doing that shit. Right. You can't bring death to my door. Mm -hmm. You just can't do that. But then I think that it also has a lot to do with him too, because anybody that feels like they they need to be in the streets, it's it's the, mm -hmm. I feel like it's the attention thing. Yeah, it's not even always about the money because mm -hmm. that when money you used to that shit. Yeah, you can't say you, that. It how is though, because it's, it's, so. Here, here's a better way to put it. Do you know somebody who requires attention all the time Thank is you. classified as as a disease? It's not anything else. So wait a minute. Other so than with, that. with DJ sitting right here, let me ask you something. So as your mom, would you rather me never be home and you have all the material shit that you ever asked for? Or would you actually rather me be home? You have what you need and most of what you want. Would you rather that and that I could spend time with you that you're I'm there that when you call me I pick up I'm not always working would you rather which one would you rather Be, right because you'll remember those things you can't replace but, that time but, so wait so if I'm working I'm running the streets and I'm getting all this money I never have that time to spend with my kids or make those memories yeah. all you remember so, is what I bought you so 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 let me ask you a question why when it comes to the daddy, it's a difference. It's I'm not, not, it's not a difference. No, I'm no, no. Speaking. For y'all, but listen, listen. Me personally, I feel I feel different because anybody that knows me, anybody that sees me on Facebook, know I go to work and I go to take care of my kids, nigga. This ain't nothing different. So, but you gotta think you put on yourself, you know that. Right. No, no, no. But, but then it's, it's also not, about a, it's but also, you, wait a minute. It's also the caliber of women that you're having children with. It's not. Why? It it's not. Why? Because listen, let me tell you something. And this gonna sound stupid as fuck. But at the end of the day, I don't mess with no bum ass bitches. I'm not saying it's you not do. It's a no, 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 no. no Listen, I'm not, not talking about financial wise. I'm not talking about none of that shit. I'm talking about if you see me, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm doing my thing. My kids is good. But I don't do something that you want me to do right then and there. Now I'm a deadbeat daddy. That's because no, they're trying to hit you. below the belt. Yeah. It's it, they yeah. know that because but that why you, though? listen. That's because just that person. But wait a minute. Because but they, then uh, it's easy for you to react to that. It's easy for you, me to say, throw that out there. And then it's like, okay, then he going to want to do what I said I needed him to do because I just call him a bum dad. Am I right or am I wrong? Because you're right. going to want to prove me wrong. Yeah. So it's But if easy. I say, if I sit up here and I say, fuck that baby and fuck you, bitch. What you could do that. You, you could do that. But you're, they know that's not you. They know that. No, they know that's not you. Yeah. You're not going to do that. I, I got a better one for you. When you allow somebody to get get up here, mm -hmm. and they got control of this up yep. here, they, they got gonna mind play your ass like a Debo. motherfucking joystick, <laughs> baby. They got mind control. They over got Debo. mind control over you, baby. Mm -hmm. Don't ever allow nobody to know what your buttons are. As long yep. as you give them that control, they and will people always know your buttons have are your control. Children. 
Your buttons are your children. And and, uh, and, why, why do you think I just started off saying I am a onion? I'm an onion. You no. peel back layers, you're gonna no. learn more information about me. Mm -hmm. I will never give you the key to me unless I want you to right. know. But see, a lot of people don't understand this shit. And you got a lot of niggas like me, like nigga, like I said, I jumped out the streets. It's too hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It it, it does, but mm -hmm. I jumped out the streets the last time I did anything in the streets, and I ain't gonna say what the fuck I did. The last thing I did was in 2013. And a lot of people that know me, they know how I move. They know how I operate. They know what it is. So if you're watching this podcast, you're going to know. When you see his face, oh, yeah, he's a real street nigga. But That's at the same time, I ain't got to put the ski mask on. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, when it's all said and done, like, my babies are number one. I don't give a fuck how motherfuckers feel, how baby mama. Listen, I didn't, I didn't gave motherfuckers. A lot of people say I should do a lot of shit. My babies, I got five daughters. Imagine a nigga with five daughters that females be like, oh, this nigga didn't shit it on me. He didn't did this, he did that. Listen, I'm gonna tell motherfucker right quick up in a hurry. You allow the motherfucker to fuck you over, that's on you. I'm teaching my daughters the game from the jump. You're supposed to. Right. You're supposed to. So they are 10 times and 10 steps ahead of any nigga that come in front of their face. When I say to you, my daddy taught me and Shantae the game way long time. I forgot it because I, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't let some of you motherfuckers play in my oh, face. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And I think it was a long time. Not with them edges. Ow. Thank you, you hit me. Thank you. I wouldn't even talk about your edges. Thank no you. Matter. Thank you, Tanisha. Look, she got my front and my back. Facts. The edges ain't got what? the front or the back. I was finna punch you in the face. That's what I had. For the first time ever in my life, have I ever seen a man stressed to be his kid? This man right here. And I could completely give my shout outs to this man. He had five different things to do. He still managed to take care of his kid, feed them, and make sure they have fun. We went to the park. And they ran around. He, like, he like a whole time. kid himself, too. He when immature he as them, hell. When he get with them, he like a whole kid, too. But that, and that's the one thing. And I mean, I appreciate you, DJ, saying that because. Even when he got something going on, he makes sure that he incorporates y'all too, which that kind of segues into, you know, our main question. Um, <laughs> um, as a dad, you know, y'all don't have the best rap and it sucks. But then having a blended family and taking on additional kids, mm -hmm. like people don't recommend, you know, recognize y'all for that too. And it's just, I don't know why society is the way it is, but it sucks. But DJ, um, how do you kind of deal with, you know, the whole blended family and dealing with somebody else and being around? Okay. It's, it's as if, okay, so if I do like the dudes you bring around, which you need to do that. To me. Like that right here. Look, not too much it's on like, him. Okay, when I met him, when I met him, you know, you skeptic. You, you want to take him out where I don't think I said that right. Yeah, skeptical. You, yeah. yeah. No, he no, he said it right. He I, said you're a skeptic of that person. You that's sure correct. And I saw you, you was happy. And that's you know, that's when that door creaked open. You feel me? But then when I got to hang out with him and all the rest of that, it's that's my guy now. But blended families that's him bringing his daughters around, it's like it's joy. Yeah. You want to take care of the kids that come around because you know, you want to raise them, right? You don't want them to go in the bad paths. If I, if they come around and they see me disrespecting you, they don't think it's cool for me to do that. Mm -hmm. That's not cool. You treat your mother, your pops with respect. Every time I see him, I hug them. We have fun. You want to have fun with the people that you have. Yeah, and that's true. That's cool. It's very cool. I see. I think it's fun. Smacking <laughs> <laughs> me every time you see me for some reason. <laughs> Unless you find a uh, person that's 19 and she a stepsister. What is wrong with you? What? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about me. What? I'm just talking about it in general. What is but he ain't denying, though. That's so quick. 
No, no but I'm right. saying. So wait a minute. Bro, you're a creep. He is. Like, I'm where did not. that come from? <laughs> what the DJ, did you deny it, though? You are a whole creep. Yeah, you wouldn't lost. Are you saying if, if he had a 19-year-old daughter and you liked her, that's what you trying to say? Bro, you're trying to have my nephew smash a 19-year-old, but bro, you're a creep, dog. That's not what I was saying. I'm just I, saying. I'm just trying to understand because I'm just a little no, lost. No, blended families come together all the time. Not like that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> We're not going to say that, but anyway. But you oh did. Oh, my God. You, I, I didn't. Did. You implied it. I didn't imply it. You did. I'm just saying. So where did that come from? Like that was just so Especially left. That. I didn't anyway, say that. Anyway, any can't. How I, how do you adapt to blended families? How do you adapt to blended families? Yeah, like. Um. I want to push him down the flight of stairs. No, he's nuts. No, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> your baby daddy. I don't give a fuck about your auntie, your grandma. Listen, if me and you got something to get going, your kids is my kids. Until we break Jones. up, no, but we break <laughs> up, you're gonna be Mr. Brooks. Like, get the fuck out of here. Who's like, Mr. Brooks? I don't Why, who, is Mr. who is Mr. Brooks? You, after we break the fuck up, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, shit. when we together, we the Joneses, but when we break up, like, shit, we broke. Your name Jones? No, oh, that's okay. my mama made name, but shit, I'm don't say, tell nobody. I'm about your ass. That's, but that's not fair to the kids, though. It's yes, not. it is. No, it's What's not. not. Look, it's let me not. Tell you. Let because me tell once you you've developed a relationship with these kids, they're going to always remember that. Yes. And that's because that's, that's and that the kids. And that is the hard part for me. Right. Being involved with somebody. And I have been around that man's children for as long as I have. And I literally, I, li- I just had this conversation with my mom. I said, that's the hardest part for me is I literally had to sever ties with these kids. I literally was sitting at that man's and funeral. And the kids go through it too. The, they go through it the worst. I yeah. literally was sitting at that man's funeral and this woman told her kids, don't you go fucking talk to her. But at the end of the day, what's wrong with the baby mama? That's what you got to understand. Being I a think, despicable, this, deplorable woman in general because you're mad the fact that somebody actually had the courage to move on past you as a person. And then you deflect that onto your children, but then you find out that your children actually love this woman just as much as they love you. It's messed up. It is. Especially when you, especially when you as a mom actually harbor ill will feelings towards your children because some women actually do because those kids look just like their father Mm -hmm. and you take it out on those kids. And then the woman that, that, that the man brings around them actually embraces those kids with so much open love and emotion, and it's un like and it's unmatched because they've never had it. Right. Okay. So, so I'm like a, it's messed up. Okay. So I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this to all the baby mamas out there. Y'all don't care about y'all baby daddies. Y'all don't. But they do. They, they, they do. But listen, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. You got dads out there that's willing to be dads. Mm-hmm. Not financially, like like me personally, I'm I'm gonna keep that shit 100. I ain't got all right. the money in the world. I ain't got a million dollars. I ain't got a thousand dollars. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna show. I ain't even got two dollars. I got two dollars. You can have two dollars, bro. But this is what I'm gonna say. My thing about it is, it's like y'all got a man that's willing to be there for their child, whether it's. Whether it's just going to buy a five dollar costume and paint their face, whether it's going to pick them up from school, getting a doing that, helping them with their homework, it's niggas out here that don't even give a fuck about their kids. Period. They don't even they don't even think about their child. Why take them out their life because you want to do certain shit, right? And that's the thing. With that's the thing that burns me up right now. Because like I tell anybody, I got seven kids. I got seven baby mamas. And when people hear that, they be like, oh, folks got baby mama drama. Listen, I don't fuck none of them. I don't have sexual relationships with them. They got niggas. They got boyfriends. And at the end of the day, I'd be like, gee, that's your girl. You need to go get her. Go help her. 
help her help me. Exactly, because at the end of the day, I'm going to take care of me and mine. It's like, at the end of the day, if I can help my baby mama, I don't care if we're not in a relationship, we're not together, we're not fucking around, we're not fucking. But at the end of the day, I'm going to help you just because you're my daughter's mother. But at the end of the day, don't shit on me because I can't do what you want me to do when you want me to do it. At the end of the day, when it's all boils down to it, my daughters, I have five of them. They love me to death. They kiss me, they hug me, they call me. Are you trying? I don't know why they do that. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you gotta think about it. You got niggas that don't even come and see their kids at all. Right. Don't interact I'm, with them, none of that. I'm gonna but, ask you, I'm gonna ask this question before before the time run out. I never understood why it has never been, and, and it could just be the day and age that we live in that when people go off to have their own relationships outside of when the relationship goes to be separate, why people can't come together and say, hey, or I'm going to say this the right way. When white folks go to have their own relationships, how they come together and say, hey, mommy has moved on to this relationship. This is her new boyfriend or new husband or whatever. Daddy's gone on to have this relationship. This is his new girlfriend and new wife. Why they can't sit down and have an amicable conversation and say, this is what this is. This is what this is Because the feelings are still there. I, I'm, that, I can I, answer that question I know before the, you I know even finish. Part, I know that's part of, part of it. But once those feelings are out of the way and there's no ill will, why is there so much hatred at the table to not be able to say, like, look, if you in this relationship with this woman, why are you not OK with this woman helping raise your child? Because somebody is bitter. That bitter that I mean, shit that's what go. I'm saying. That the feelings are but still there the and it's age. bitter because it's like you're working it out with somebody else. That you know, and I feel like it should be me. Well, they feel like it should be you. Like, cause so I, then if cause that bitterness, I, cause I that, know, cause I know for a fact, me being the woman that I am, I know I have literally elevated a couple niggas in my lifetime to go be with another motherfucker. That shit, that shit hurt. It that shit it it hurt, and that shit do get old. But you got to get to a point in time in your life to to where you know that low key, you got to find out what that lesson was in that relationship because. All that Definitely shit that you went through in that relationship literally could have elevated you for somebody else, too. I'm definitely coming out on their show. <laughs> yeah, y'all. We didn't got so far in the conversation. We couldn't even fully finish um, the topics, but we definitely going to do a part two. So I guess November is a part a two month. Um, it's part two for the teens, um, and it's part two for this. So I appreciate y'all watching. I'm so sorry that my business page is not working. I guess I should stop jumping on and off Facebook. But um, we're going to continue this in another segment. Y'all stay outside. Y'all, you know, stay all together. If y'all have any um, events that's coming up, please let me know so that I can post it and share it. If you have any um, small businesses, you know, we definitely are uh, huge on supporting small businesses. Make sure y'all DM me so that I can go ahead and promote that too. But we love y'all. We'll see y'all soon, all right? Yeah, and I'll definitely have my hoodie on. Stay safe. <laughs>